Right then, are we ready? So we've got this next example. So it says example two, so it says the points A, B, C lie on the circumference, find the equation. Um, so what have I got? So I've got a circle, I've got minus 319, I've got 911, so I've got left up, right down, and then minus 51. Hmm. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. That's put off. That doesn't seem, the numbers don't seem to work, do they really? I think like minus 15, 1 might be there. So that could be C. 1. Minus 3, 19, could be there. And then 9, 11 could be there, I guess. So we just try and put it in B. Yours will be much better. Anyway, I want perpendicular bisectors there. Right, so plan of attack. I want the equation of the perpendicular bisector no. So the equation of the perpendicular bisector for AB, and I want the equation of the perpendicular bisector for AC. There we go. I might have to pause it as I'm doing it because I've only got these five minute videos. So I'm going to work out the gradient and I'm going to work out the midpoint. So I'm going to do gradient and midpoint for each of these, okay? So I'm going to pause it now, and we'll do gradient and midpoint. Right then, so if you look for AC, or AB, sorry, I've worked out the midpoint, and I've worked out the gradient. And for AC, I've worked out the midpoint, and I've worked out the gradient. Now I want, because it's a perpendicular gradient, I want the perpendicular, that perpendicular gradient, so that'll be m is 3 over 2, that'll be m is minus 2 thirds. So I chose the wrong point here. And I'm going to work out the equation. So I've got y minus 15. So it's going to go through the midpoint, x minus 3, and then y minus 10 is minus 2 thirds, x plus 9. So there are my two equations that I've got. Now, these are the two equations which go through the centre. So I've got my perpendicular bisectors. I now just need to solve these two equations. So I'm going to solve. Right, so let's kind of rearrange these so in the right form. Um, so that would be, if I times through by the 2, it would be 2y minus 30 is 3x minus 9, and then if I want to x is y is equals a number, and I have 3x minus 2y is equal to minus 21. And then this one here, I have to try and sneak it in somewhere because I don't want to run out of space for doing this. So I didn't really think about it very well, really, did I? So I've got 3y minus 30 is minus 2x minus 18. So 2x plus 3y, take the 30 over is 12. So I'm looking to solve 3x minus 2y is minus 21, and 2x plus 3y is 12. I'm going to pause it there because I don't trust my own work. So hang on a sec. Checked it so it works. So this will give us a centre if you solve it of minus 3, 6. Now for the radius... I'm so sorry, I spread the work out far too far, haven't I? For the radius, you just want the distance from the centre to any point. So if I use it to B, which is 9, 11, if you work it out, it will give you a radius of 30. 13 seems to be the number. Uh, I've got 10 seconds left, so let's write this down dead quick then. So X plus 3 squared y minus 6 squared is equal to 13 squared, which is 169. And there we go. That's okay.